From the home screen, select TCB Reading. Enter a nurse ID and two of the following forms of patient ID, patient name, patient medical record number, or patient date of birth. Enter the information using either the on-screen keyboard or use the barcode scanner. In this case, we'll use the barcode scanner. Highlight Scan In to activate the barcode scanner. Point the scanner towards the barcode and press the Enter key. The scanned information appears on the screen. Confirm the information is correct and press the Enter key. If you prefer to type the information, use the arrow keys to move to the appropriate position on the keyboard and press the Enter key to select each letter or number. When finished, highlight Done and press the Enter key to save the settings. Now we need to attach a new BillyCal tip to the handheld unit. Press it on to the unit until you hear a click, which confirms proper seating. Select Done to begin calibration. When finished, the unit beeps and displays this message. Choose an appropriate measurement site. Use either the flat area of the forehead between the infant's eyebrows or on the sternum, where a sufficient amount of blood is circulated. Avoid areas of the skin with visible bruising. The same site should be used for all readings during a measurement, and the same site should be used for all subsequent measurements. To take a measurement, pull on the BillyCal tab and peel away the protective covering and calibration material from the tip and dispose of it. Leave only the clear film on the BillyCal tip. Press the Enter key to select Done. Gently press the BillyCal tip to the selected measurement area. While maintaining skin contact with the BillyCal tip, lift the handheld unit slightly from the patient's forehead or sternum and then repeat the process four more times. A measurement requires a series of five successful readings from the same site. The measurement number on the display changes from yellow to green when proper pressure is applied. The number will return to yellow if excessive pressure is applied. A single tone sounds after each reading to indicate that it was successful. When the readings are complete, the Billy Check displays and saves all entered information. Remove and dispose of the Billy Cal tip and apply the protective blue plug. Then return the handheld unit to the charger base. If your device is configured to transmit data to a lab information system or electronic medical record system, when the handheld unit is returned to the charger base, all records since the last data transmission will be sent. Sent status for each screen appears here on the display. This icon indicates the record has been sent. This icon indicates the record has not been sent. This icon indicates the record contains an error and cannot be sent. Select History to access patient data that is stored in the handheld unit. The unit stores up to 30 records. Once the record limit is reached, the oldest record is deleted. Select Standby from the home screen to turn the screen off between readings.